Hello, my name is Sebastian. I come from Celje, one of the biggest towns in the beautiful country of Slovenia. It's in Europe. Today, I will be making mushroom soup. It's a traditional dish and simple enough for others to replicate my way. It's one of the most popular soups in our region, and there are many recipes for it. I will be preparing it for eight people. So I'll need one carrot, six potatoes, one onion, some spices, which I will describe later, three liters of water, and of course, mushrooms. Half a kilogram of porcini mushrooms, which my personal assistant sourced from the nearby forests. First, I will grate the carrot. Some people prefer to cut it into pieces, but I personally like it finely grated. I have to admit that I'm not a big fan of carrots, but it's an essential ingredient in mushroom soup, adding a pleasant flavor and, of course, a nice color. I started cooking six years ago. Before that, I didn't know much about the kitchen. I did a bit of digging online and tried some things on my own. I got a few basic recipes from my bread mother, as I grew up in a wonderful foster family that treated me like one of their own. Now I'm going to tackle the potatoes. I'll grate half of them very finely and the other half coarsely. Some people prefer to cut them into cubes, but I prefer them grated. That's just a matter of taste. There's also another reason I prefer grating. Potatoes thicken soups naturally so we don't need flour or other thickeners. The starch is binding enough and gives the soup a richer flavor. Of course, I won't use too much potato, so that it doesn't dominate the dish, as it's still a mushroom soup. Great! The carrot and potatoes are ready. I take an onion and an electric slicer, which is very useful to me and also safe for visually impaired people. I will finally chop the onion in it. Here we go. The onion is ready. I'll take a little bit of vegetable oil. Some housewives might scold me for this, but I'll sauté the carrot in the oil first, instead of the onion. I always do it this way. Even if it's not completely hot yet, it's fine to add the carrot to the pot. We can already hear it sizzling beautifully. Then we add the onion. It can be a bit tricky to get it out of the pot, but the effort always pays off once it's cooked. Now we'll add some tomato paste. About a tablespoon will be enough. Then we'll add a bit of a spice mix, named Vegeta, just to taste, since it's a spice mix and quite salty. We add a little water to prevent it from sticking or burning. And now 
we are going to add spices. We add a bit of marjoram, then parsley, a little thyme, pepper, sweet red paprika, and of course we can't forget the garlic. And finally, some oregano. Those are the spices that I put in. And now we put in the mushrooms. This year's harvest is not very good. So I'm using last year's frozen ones. We pour in the water, about 3 liters for 8 people. Finally, we add the potatoes. We will cover the soup and increase the heat so it boils nicely. It will cook for about 40 minutes. Forty minutes later. The soup needs to boil for about 40 minutes, so it should be ready now. Mmm, it smells amazing. Let's stir it a bit. It looks just thick enough, not too runny. I think the guests will be satisfied. Also, some people add cream at the end. You have to be careful with that, as the cream can overpower the other flavors, which we don't want. Enjoy your meal!